parents. Are you tough? Yes, I'm tough. You're a tough parent? I, I'm fair. I'm fair. I let him be who he is. He's my child, but I don't want to change him. He is who he is, and I try to give him traditions and values and morals uh, into his life, but uh, I don't try to change him. I like that he has his own yes and his own no. Da there's a perception by some that Donald's uh, got a rough uh, reputation with women. That he's got rough language with women. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. What do you want to say to that? I say he tricks he treats equally everybody. You're a woman, you're a man. He treats everybody equally. And uh, he's, uh, he will tell you what it's on his heart. So, and he will tell you what he thinks. He doesn't hold back. And he's real. He's, he's a real person. Is he funny? He's funny. Has a great sense of humor. He likes to have a good time. And um, he loves to get together with family and friends. What annoys him? What does he get mad about? What does he like? Stupidity. Really? Like yes, what? and I do too. Uh, just if something it's not done the right way, and uh, uh, especially if you tell somebody and they don't just don't do it, and uh, he he just um, he he likes to be the right things done, and he just doesn't like it. He doesn't like um, somebody who is not uh, competent to do it. Who's more likely to apologize first in a fight, you or Donald? We don't have fights. You never had a fight? No. Never, never have an argument? We don't have fights. We, I know, but you don't disagree on things? We like disagree, but that's okay. That's very good in the relationship. I'm my own, oh, I got with it. my own brains, he's with his own brains. So. But it never gets heated? No. No. Yeah, you've, never, I, you've, no. Never had, you've never had an argument? No. I tell him my way, he, and he expect, accept that, and I tell him, um, you know, what I think, and he he's the same he thinks what he thinks well uh, <laughs> it, it's the very, rest of us argue a little bit i got to tell you at least no. i think maybe not Donald Trump turning the campaign trail into a family event. Last night the GOP presidential front runner joined on stage at a rally by his wife Milana, his son Baron, his daughter Tiffany and his older daughter Ivanka. I have to do this cuz i haven't done this yet. I brought my family. Now this is what we call a crowd. They are so lucky that they don't have to do this every night, right? Are they lucky? Isn't he the best? He will be the best president ever. We love you. Trump's wife, Melania, and his younger children have been largely absent from the campaign trail so far. So does having his family join him help or hurt Trump's image? The on-the-record political panel is here from the Boston Globe, Annie Linsky, and from the Washington Times, Stephen Dynan. Annie, um, I think we all wanted to hear Melania. Oh, absolutely. I mean, hear her, see her. She's beautiful, and um, she's mostly been hit hidden. Um, on the campaign trail. So I think there's no question that she absolutely softens his image a little bit. And you see her out there, you see the family out there, and it's, um, you know, it's a sort of a different Donald Trump, right? I mean, you're seeing a kind of a, you, you see him. Um, Dan. Dan yeah, shows up. Dad. Dan shows up. Stephen, um, there, you know, as Annie sir mentioned, I mean, we do see a little different Donald Trump. We're so used to him sort of uh, throwing a couple punches, and I don't know they necessarily need to soften his image. He's winning the polls, but uh, it certainly is giving another... Yeah, look at him. Def definitely a little bit of a humanizing element. But look, Donald Trump's personality is so outsized. I don't know that his family has much of an effect on the way people view him no matter what. Right? The voters who are behind Donald Trump, uh, they're behind him uh, even despite some of the things he says, the outsized personality, the history, questions about his, uh, his uh, political leanings in the past. They're with him because they like what he's saying. They're not, you know, they're not going to be swayed by his family coming on the campaign trail or not coming on the campaign but trail. It almost appears, though, Andy, that he has Teflon because it's not like there aren't other outsiders. If he said something really outrageous to someone else, he might think that the, you know that the person might go to another outsider. But right. the, but the Trumps, the Trump fans are pretty loyal. They are loyal. And one of the things that I thought about the family is he's he has this ability that nobody else seems to have of, of turning things that are really could be weaknesses for a different candidate into a strength, right? So you have a man who's very wealthy, and he turns that into a strength. Um, uh, you know, Romney had, had trouble with it. And with his family, this is a guy who's talking to South Carolina voters, very conservative Republican voters who have a traditional view of marriage. 
He's had three wives. He, you saw him up with his family. One, one of those kids, each of one of those children was by a different woman. And he's able to turn it into a strength and say, hey, look, this is my beautiful family. Here I am. I'm Donald Trump. I have a great family just like you do. Maybe I, I made, you know, Maybe I made some mistakes. I don't think he would actually say that. But, but he, he, you're he, seeing him. He hasn't you're made seeing, any mistakes, I don't think. He, I think he was sick. He just turns it all into a strength. Like, look at this. Here's my beautiful family. See, um, he's, got, he's getting a little bit of a problem. He needs to check his rearview mirror in Iowa. He's got uh, Senator Ted Cruz coming up rather quickly. Um, is he going to lash out at Ted Cruz, or what's he going to do to to keep his lead. They're, t they're statistically even. Yeah, you know, I, I think, first of all, Cruz is going to have a, a fight with Rubio over that second place, so uh, Trump doesn't necessarily need to do too much there. But, yeah, he's hit every single person who's come up on his tail. I expect we will see some more fire train there. The real thing, though, is that Tea Party folks, and there's some voters out there that are very excited and talking about a Trump-Cruz uh, ticket, you know, how he handles that will go a long way towards, uh, towards uh, I guess, winning over some of those folks or pushing them away. So he uh, has to be a little careful. All right, viewers, I want to know something from you. Ready for this? What do you think? It's about your Thanksgiving dinner tomorrow. Is politics a likely heated topic at your Thanksgiving table? Tweet yes or no using hashtag Greta and we're going to show you your live Twitter votes throughout the show.